it's a good sunny morning today i am making scrambled eggs On the fried pan, this is how we make scrambled eggs in Ukraine. It's very tasty and juicy and simple. huge tomatoes are in Ukraine and I bought my favorite pink one. I will have it with the scrambled eggs. This tomato is uh, near 400 grams. Finish in pate and I also have uh, salmon belly. Ukrainian tomatoes are absolutely aromatic and tasty. Nevertheless, it's uh, so sunny outside, but it's not hot. It's only near plus 10 degrees. It's very chilly. I'm in jacket, so it's... Good morning, beautiful Kiev. Now I go to this direction. There will be the botanical garden and then to Vladimir Cathedral. This place is I'm going to attend today. Uzata Hata Cafe. This Arabsky market. Everything is very beautiful. Very beautiful city. I'm going to go over the street. It's uh, Shevchenko Boulevard and there will be Botanical Garden and uh, uh, St. Vladimir Cathedral. And before it will be Shevchenko Park, so all over the street, very convenient location. It's Pushkinska Street, it's one of the central streets in Kiev. And once I remember I stayed some of the buildings in the apartment I like it also very beautiful place and here Shevchenko Boulevard I like uh, that I stay on Pasena Street this time and everything is close by so just few minutes and I am in Shevchenko Park, few minutes and I am in the botanical gardens or few minutes takes to the uh, main street, Kishatik. I like to stay in this uh, central location. Just quick walk around the Shevchenko Park. is Shevchenko University, the main university in Ukraine and in Kiev. And this is Vladimirska Street. All these places are very familiar, very interesting and so central part of the city. Several times I lived in this Vladimirska Street and the Golden Gates is there. I lived exactly in the opposite of the Golden Gates. So all these places I love a lot. 
absolutely beautiful and amazing Shevchenka Park. Here is beautiful Vladimir Cathedral. It's uh, my favorite cathedral in Kiev. Here is the botanical garden in the opposite of St. Vladimir Cathedral. And uh, just when I enter to this place, it's uh, much more quiet here. St. Vladimir Cathedral, Hotel Hilton. Here are the rhododendrons in Kiev, and uh, of course in England we had abundance of them. But here another climate and uh, other type of rhododendrons. They are very beautiful as well and uh, May is period of their blooming. Maybe because it's slightly chilly they will be blooming and closer to June. This is oak tree. Here are the magnolias. so wonderful here, just in the center of the noisy city, such a beauty, such an abundance of uh, fresh air and the trees and the blooming, so it's absolutely amazing, I, I like it a lot. As, uh, it's the botanical garden, not the usual park. Uh, that's why here it's possible to see unusual for Ukraine trees, uh, something like uh, fern or uh, some trees from Japan or from New Zealand, Australia or South America. Uh, yes, because uh, here the professionals uh, deliberately care for these uh, trees, for these plants. And here also exists uh, a greenhouse like orangery. And uh, this place is also very good to visit, especially in the winter time when it's uh, miserable outside and dark. And 
when you go to that orangery you can see a lot of tropical plants and it's warm inside and wet so you can just sink into a tropical uh, summer paradise in a moon winter but now i'm just walking over this amazing botanical garden and enjoying fresh air it's only plus 10 outside so mm, it's very fresh and so pleasant yeah i'm leaving the botanical garden and go further on walking over the street which is leading directly to the railway station which is here and uh, it's very convenient place where I stayed in because uh, walking distance uh, even to the railway station uh, it's now 30 minutes and my bus uh, from Kiev to Warsaw uh, starts it, its trip uh, from the bus station near the railway station I will be with suitcase, so I better I will take a taxi probably, but even walking distance, so it's possible even walk over. It's so lovely in Kiev, everything is very creative. For example, this is a Georgian cafe, and uh, here even people covered with shawls in ethnical style. Really great. Everything is very beautiful, such buildings such ornaments everywhere like this for example and it's towards the new buildings or modern or fashion you know, like this orthopedic salon and uh, uh, more than a couple years ago I bought for myself uh, orthopedic inserts for my shoes and it really helped me to improve my joints on my feet and uh, it's closed by a railway station on Simona Petlura street in Kiev and uh, today I'm going to buy maybe one or two uh, additional inserts as well is the greenhouse is the botanical garden with the tropical trees and plants. It's also a central part of Kiev or close by this very center. And it's very beautiful here. And here is the monument of uh, revolutionary, uh, revolutionary shores. Uh, but this monument uh, probably uh, having uh, its last moments here because um, I think it would be removed. Ukraine is a democratic country and uh, in Ukraine they don't want to have uh, monuments of revolutionaries and everything is what uh, in touch with all of this. Botanical Garden, Hotel Hilton, Shevchenko Boulevard. through the underground uh, crossing the road and uh, what can I say here in past were a lot of kiosks and uh, trade stalls and now it's completely empty uh, from one side it's good because it looks tidy and cleaner but from another side uh, if they uh, provide proper jobs for people for private enterprises who who earned money working here this is the question and i don't think so so that's why i don't know sometimes in ukraine it's difficult to survive and especially if you create your small business uh, your small kiosk and then it just stopped and uh, you don't know what to do next and uh, to find a job with proper salary here it's uh, very difficult especially when you are older with age and in ukraine when you are more than 35 years old you are old to start job yes it's true it's what the reality is 
It's famous views of its chestnuts and uh, chestnuts trees are blooming now. Oh, how these trees are called chestnuts or cor coarse nuts. I will attend this amazing St. Vladimir Cathedral after more than two years absence. I'm coming to the St. Vladimir Cathedral first time after long absence. It's a very special moment for me. I'm happy to be here. I have attended the St. Vladimir Cathedral and uh, Today it was a spe special feeling that Ukraine is uh, on its right way, so everything will be good. This is what I bought in the orthopedical salon. I bought this massage mat for spine. It's very good for neck, for lower back. I know such stuff, so it's absolutely good. Um, this one cost uh, not 494 but um, uh, 460 It's such mat with such needles. It's very good for neck, for spine. So then I bought such inserts. They cost um, also now 460, something like this. And uh, I, I always wear this with my shoes. So, and here is absolutely amazing mat uh, with um, such pines inside. Okay, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's open. So it's like this, and it's very good for feet when you walk on this mat. And it's colorful, it's like puzzle. So I will take, take it in England.